Welcome back to Tuesday's Midday. Rapids Animal Medical Center is joining us now with some details on how they're trying to help fight hunger in our furry friends that we love and care for so much, guys. Thank y'all for so much for being with us. Well, thank you. So thank we you. have um, Dr. Miss Dr. April Brown with us, and we have Alyssa. 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 Okay, so. Tell me exactly um, what all you are trying to do. I know that this is kind of a partnership with the Food Bank of Central Louisiana, who we just had on. So what, what, all, what is this campaign or donation campaign? Well, um, I realized that we did not have a food bank or a pet food bank pantry here in Central Louisiana for right. our pets. And um, we work closely with the shelters and we're the shelter vets. So we see a lot of cruelty cases in the area and we see pets that are turned over for you know, lack of having um, food, uh, people had to turn their animals over to the shelter, mm -hmm. and we want to try to prevent that. And so I called over and asked if we could pair with the Central Louisiana Food Bank in order to try to raise um, some food and uh, make this something more permanent. Okay. Because, um, like you heard, they have like three warehouses. So why can't we have a little area right there in the shelter? or in the um, in the food bank where people, if they're there to get food for themselves, why can't they also be able to get some food for their pets? Because if they're having hard times, you know, they need food for their pets as well. Absolutely. And we would rather them have that resource available than to have to turn their pet over mm -hmm. or make the decision, well, am I going to be able to feed myself or am I going to feed my pet? Absolutely. And this is a... Um, I've gotten a lot of feedback from people that this is a very good idea. And so we wanted to come on and able to put this out here. We've been doing it for the month of March and we've got a couple hundred pounds so wow. far, but we wanted to extend it through the month of April so that we can get the word out there and that we can get you know even more um, donations and, and hopefully, like we said, keep this ongoing, not just for these two months, but also something that the public will keep ongoing throughout the year and make this a permanent thing. Absolutely. And so is this um, donations of actual food and monetary donations? Yes. So we're accepting donations of mm -hmm. food, supplies like okay. collars, leashes, bowls, anything of that sort. So okay. not just cats and dogs either. Some people have like birds that they have to right. supply for, like guinea pigs and ferrets and hamsters. So we're accepting mm -hmm. pretty much everything. Cat litter, puppy pads, food of all kinds, treats and everything. Absolutely. You know, one thing I always realize at my house is you don't realize how fast you can go through yes. f pet food, yeah. <laughs> to be completely honest, when it yeah. comes to dog food and stuff exactly. like that. So yeah. um, this is for, as you said, any any pets that people may have any possibly, uh -huh. do not just dogs and cats. No, we want to okay. accept for everything. Okay, and so I saw you have some drop-off locations. Um, where can people drop off any donations? Uh, so we're accepting drop-offs at our location, at our clinic, Rapids Animal Medical Center. Um, right. So the address for that is going to be 5990 Jackson Street. So we're located at the end of Jackson Street Extension, okay. right by the roundabout, by our Jay's Detail Center in the Chevron, mm -hmm. or you can donate at the Montessori School where, um, yeah. yeah so. My daughter goes to school at Montessori Educational Center, and I just <laughs> want to say hi to her and thank you to the Montessori Educational Center for letting <laughs> us have a drop-off box there. And they have, um, they have contributed a lot with donations, and I wanted to thank them also, but they are still, um, accepting donations there as well. Well, also, my stepdaughter yeah. goes to the same school. Oh, really? <laughs> <So> like, <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. They do have a drop box there for us as well if you want to drop off there. Okay, and it doesn't matter how big or small the bag is Anything. if you want to no. drop off a bag yep. of food. Anything. Okay, and then um, y'all are going to be doing this, as you said, throughout the rest of the month of April, correct? Yes. Okay, and then yes. do you think you'll probably continue it afterwards? We would like to, and we would like for the public also to mm -hmm. make donations directly to um, the food bank so that we can keep this, you know, open for the public, you know, and make this a permanent um, food pantry for the pets. Absolutely. Well, we're trying to hear. And they also, you know, <laughs> would help. probably take monetar monetary donations as well yeah. if um, people would like to do that. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, any donations. We'll take it. All right, ladies, thank y'all so much for coming on the show. Thank hopefully you so we much can for get having those, us. Hopefully we can get those donations yes, up. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be back right after the break.